So this is our basic setup for this shot. Uh, we have uh, the you know the Canon 1DS Mark III here with a 7200 zoom. Uh, we have six of the Speedlight 600 EXRTs on a stand. Uh, all in conjunction with each other and then we have two additional ones in the background that's going to do like a skim light on the edge of the model so this is kind of our basic setup on how we have it set up the six here and then the two in the background so here we have our flash set up uh, we have three different groups set up four flashes set up in group a and two flashes set up in group b and then an, an additional two flashes set up in group c that are off to the back that will be providing a skim light across the subject space roughly the same distance apart from the subject On top of the Canon 1DS Mark III, we have a Canon STE3RT transmitter to power all eight of the Canon 600EXRT speed lights that we have set up. We have the flashes set to manual mode, and you can see the three different groups we have set up right now. So to select the output of the flash, all you need to do is push the group button once, we'll, which you can choose the group with. Uh, once you've chosen the group, then you can hit the group button a second time and it will go into the mode where it allows you to control the output of the flash. And using the little wheel on the front of the uh, transmitter, you can dial in whatever power you'd like it to fire at. So here's a little cheat sheet that I have on the back of my flash units. I like to shoot everything manually so I know what's happening. So what I have is I basically have uh, two different powers, a quarter power and half power with full, full flash, uh, the soft box, and then the soft box with diffusion uh, at, this, at three paces, three of my paces will give me roughly these apertures. So setting up the exposure for this was pretty easy. It was an overcast day, uh, which means I didn't have to get into the high speed sync a whole lot. Um, basically, I was shooting at a 200th of a second with uh, F10. And uh, what I did is I set the exposure to give me the correct exposure for what I wanted for the background, uh, because your camera, your shutter speed has to, has to do that. Uh, along with your uh, aperture helps control that too a little bit. But your shutter speed is going to darken the background or lighten the background depending on how, how you want to set it up. And then for the actual, actual exposure on the subject, then we adjust the light to meet the correct exposure for that use, uh, between adjusting the light output or the uh, aperture to allow for that. Thanks for checking out this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, don't hesitate to shoot me a comment and I'll try and answer anything I can. Thanks for watching.